Happy Friday, people. How are you guys? Excellent. So somebody just misses dancing. So tonight she's going to go dancing. But that's another reason I came on here today. Let me just turn off my music. How are you guys? Happy Friday. So I did a live earlier. Turns out it wasn't live. My face was not on it. But anyway, we're doing it again. <laughs> I love technology. <laughs> right, guys. So welcome, everybody, to my page. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Angela, and I am a digital entrepreneur. That means I work online. I run an online business. So today's live actually focuses on the questions that people have with regards to starting an online business and running an online business. And the number one question that I usually get from people is, after they've been running their business and they're like, I wish I'd known this. And the same thing also happened to me when I started. I wish I'd known this. So today I'm going to share with you my own perspective of what you should know before you start an online business. But before we start, if you're watching this, whether you're watching live or you're watching it as a replay, please do leave a message so that I know where you're watching from and leave a comment to say hello, let me know that you're on board right now, yeah? And if you've got any questions as, we, as I'm doing this live, do post them in the comments. I'll keep an eye on any comments that come through. So thank you very much for that. So yes, what is it that somebody who wants to start an online business should be aware of before they start? I think the biggest issue is that people seem to think that an online business is different from any other ordinary business, which couldn't be further from the truth. Hey, Abby, House of Africa. Yeah, starting an online business is just the same as starting any, any business, be it a brick and mortar business, be it um, a medical practice, it's the same. So you need, number one, to realize that if you're starting an online business, it is a business. It is not a joke, it's not a hobby, it's not going to run itself simply because it's online. In my online business, I use a 90% automated system, but I still need to work because there's a 10% that I have to do. So simply because it's online doesn't mean that you can just sit back and relax and your business is going to grow on its own. It won't. You need it. So that means you turn up for your business, you show up for your business. Think of it, if you were running a brick and mortar business and you decided you're not going to turn up for work, would that work? It wouldn't, right? Because you need to open up your shop or your medical practice, you need to open it up and get people coming in. And it's the same thing with online business. You need to do that, show up for your business. Second thing, People seem to be very um, reluctant to, to take the long walk, the long journey that is involved in running a business simply because it's an online business. To be honest with you, you are going to have to go through a learning curve when you start an online business. So have that in mind. Especially if you have never run a business before, you're going to learn how to run a business. You're going to have to manage your time wisely. You're going to have to learn new systems. 
So factor in the learning curve. You're not going to become an overnight success. Most businesses are not like that. And online businesses are no different. There is no overnight success. There are no quick, uh, no quick, uh, quick get rich quick schemes. You have to put in the work. So factor in the learning curve. It will happen and you will need to deal with it. There will be disappointments, number three. Like in any business, there will be disappointments. There'll be moments of frustration where you feel like giving up. But the worst thing that you could ever do to yourself is to quit three months, six months after having started a business. You're not going to give yourself that opportunity to quit if you're running a brick and mortar business. You don't just decide, oh my goodness, I am making losses. It's been three months, six months, and I've barely paid myself. Therefore, I am stopping this business. Chances are you're not going to do that. So why do we think that it's normal for you to do that in an online setup? It isn't, right? This is a business. It goes through those herbs and flows. Sometimes you've got one month where you're you're rolling in money, and then you've got another month where things are tight, ebbs and flows of a business. So give yourself time, time to understand how your business operates, time to understand your industry, time to understand how what your customers want from you so that you can serve them the way they want to be served, not the way that you think you should serve them. Fourthly, we, I notice, and this is something that I have also gone through, being an online business, you need to be able to create content, content that edifies your customers. So you're teaching them and you're giving them value. You're letting them know and understand what you're offering. And if you're not creating any content as an online entrepreneur, your business is going to struggle. You can't be online, an online entrepreneur, and not be found doing the online stuff. And one of those online stuff is creating content that your customers, your leads can consume and is going to help them. Another issue that you have to guard against is, and I go back to the issue of wanting quick results. That doesn't happen. So consider that if you've got a university degree, you've had to go through three to five years of learning, whether you, you became an accountant or a doctor, you have to put in the work yeah, as a student. And then after that, you started working at an entry level and you got paid whatever you got paid. And even if you had your sights on earning six-figure income, you knew that you were not going to earn that within your first year of leaving university. The same is true of any business. You're not going to just find yourself rolling in money simply because you've started a business. It takes time. So build on it. And the last point that I want to mention today is that like any other business, you've got to feed your online business. And what do I mean by that? I mean that whatever money you get from your business, you have to reinvest into your business. So it's not like, all the money that you're making is profit. <laughs> That's not how it works. You might have very low overheads, but you still need to invest in your business. Invest whether you're going to be using that money in running ads, whether you're going to be using that money in, I don't know what your online business 
requires. But if it's ads, then you need to make sure that you've got money for your ads. Otherwise, your business is not going to grow. So make sure that you invest money into your business. Give your business time to grow. Do not rush it. You need to learn and understand what your business is all about so that you can be able to actually grow it. Yeah? The more you know about your business, thanks, Abby. I love that you're getting value out of this series. The more you know about your business, the higher the chances that your business is going to grow and succeed. So give it time. Don't quit before you've put in everything into your business. Have you tried um, uh, have you tried different things to make your business um, successful? If you haven't, then you need to do so. Hey, Sharon, how are you doing? Yeah, so if you haven't put in any effort into growing your business, it's not yet time to quit. If you can come and say, oh, I have tried A, B, C, D, and none of this seemed to work. I have asked for information from others. And I've put into, into practice what they have suggested, and still I have not got the results that I was hoping to get, then yeah, it's okay. You can stop your business. But if you've not given it your all, keep trying. It takes time, but once you get it, you are going to be able to, to build a business that's going to sustain you and sustain your future generations. And that's the beauty of an online business. Yeah. So guys, that's it for today's series of online business. If you have any questions regarding having an online business, do send those questions to me and I will answer them in the next, in the next session. But for today, if you want to find out how you can start your own online business, I invite you to register. Click on the link that's showing on my, um, on my screen. Click on the link now and register and reserve a seat for, at the next webinar that we're running. We run webinars twice a week, every Tuesday and every Thursday where we basically talk through how to start an online business. So if you're interested in owning an online business, don't, don't hesitate. Click on that link. It's free, so it's not going to cost you anything. It's just your time, 90 minutes long. If That just means you, you do not watch some TV series, 90 minutes. It's not too long, but you are going to walk away with so much value from that webinar. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. It's been fun spending time with you here. And like I said at the very beginning, I did have uh, tech challenges, but that's the beauty of it, right? You learn and you improve from uh, your mistakes. Thank you guys. Have a fantastic Friday. Enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye. Bye, Abby. Bye, Sharon. And everybody who watches this replay, do let me know where you're watching from. And if you've got any questions, leave questions in the comment section or uh, drop me a message in my inbox. Bye.